Hey guys, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I am showing you five fun Disney lunches and an exciting giveaway to Southern California. So I'm Kristen, I am sister number two from Six Sister Stuff, and today I'm sharing with you two things. The first one, I'm showing you five fun Disney lunch ideas to get your kids excited for either a Disney trip, a Disney movie coming out, just some fun ideas. Number two, I am giving you an opportunity to win a family vacation to Southern California and you get to pick any two theme parks you want. So special thanks to Getaway Today. They are providing this prize for us and I'm also teaming up with The Family Fudge. If you haven't found her yet, she is the master at lunches. It's called Bunches of Lunches and today over on her website, she's showing all kinds of fun Disney lunches just like I am. So before I get going on my giveaway, first I'm gonna show you my lunches, then I'll tell you more about the giveaway. So here are my lunches. Now the first one I'm sharing with you is Star Wars. So I have a hard boiled egg here and I made a stormtrooper out of it. I just found the instructions online. I googled stormtrooper egg and all kinds of designs showed up. Next I found these little light saber sticks that I found on Amazon. I'll link those below so if you want some you can get some. Now they're not very sharp but I was able to stick them in carrots. You could also put fruit on them, anything like that. Now BB-8's stomach is an Uncrustable. You can find that in the freezer section at any grocery store and I drew on him with these edible markers that I also found on Amazon that I'll link below so you'll be able to see them. Next are these little bb pop chips. Now I found these at Target. Let me show you the bag. Now I think my kids were laughing at me so hard because when I found them I literally did a little happy dance but you can get all cute little designs. bb is our favorite at our house. Now BB-8's head is actually just a Baby Bell cheese that I cut out a white piece of paper, used some markers to draw on it, and that really is his head for the Uncrustable body. Oh, and I also found these little juice bottles at Target. It came in a three pack. One was a Stormtrooper, then you have Darth Vader, and the other one was Yoda. They are so cute and my kids loved them. And I know I have all girls, but we are a huge Star Wars family. So we are bouncing from Star Wars to Princess. So with this lunch, I got everything from the Dollar Tree, including these little princess paper mats that can go under their tray, which is perfect for my baby because she still makes a huge mess when she eats. So at the Dollar Tree, it came with these cupcake toppers. And the thing about them is they came with a paper insert. So I had to snip those off and I just taped a toothpick on so I could easily stick fruit onto them, making them just really cute. Now we are a huge fan of sandwiches at our house. And so this is my princess crown sandwich. It's just a peanut butter and jam because that's what my baby loves. I used the edible markers, did a little diamond on it. It worked perfect for her. Next, I took some yogurt and added some princess sprinkles on top so that the kids will love it. And last, I just took some strawberries. I cut the tops off and kind of made them into hearts at the very top. It's super easy and the kids will love it. Now, with the cupcake toppers, it also came with the cupcake wrappers. So they're princess cupcake wrappers that I had my strawberries in just to give it a little extra detail. Now this was a little much for my one-year-old. She ate about half of it and I'll save the other half for tomorrow. Next is my Mickey lunch and this I think is one of my favorites. So I found these at Target and they're just the Greek yogurt strawberry flavored. Um, you can find them just in the yogurt section. Then underneath the yogurt is my Mickey pizza. So I took one of these flat out foldits. So there's something that usually fold to make it, but I decided to cut it into a circle so it would make the perfect Mickey head shape. Then with my extras, I just cut two little ears to make Mickey's ears. After that, I just put a little bit of pizza sauce, some cheese, and melted it in the microwave, just so the cheese would be melted when they ate it at lunch. Now I love all things Mickey, so I could not resist making 
Oreo Mickeys. All you need is the mini Oreos, the normal size Oreos, and of course, toothpicks. I broke a toothpick in half, stuck it in the big Oreo, put it in the little Oreo, and just like that, you have your little Mickey. Now, I did the same thing with my blueberries. You don't have to use toothpicks. You can just put them in there, but my little girls thought they were so cute. I just had to warn them before you eat these blueberries, make sure you pull out your toothpicks. These obviously are not for the little kids when they have toothpicks in the food. Just throwing that out there. On to the next one. This is my Toy Story lunch and I had so much fun making it. Okay, these are pigs in a blanket for of course the character Ham. He's one of my favorites. I just cut up a hot dog and crescents, wrapped the crescents around and baked it in the oven. Next are my Martians. I just cut up cucumbers to make the circle and then cut up a few extra cucumbers, cut the circle to make their little ears. So to make these little cheese stars, I took a little piece of cheddar cheese and I traced a star on the paper and cut them into the star shapes. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the little Martian eyeballs. They're just the little eyeballs that you can find everywhere at Walmart, at Kroger, literally everywhere. Now, to make my little ball, I just took some Baby Bell cheese again because I love it. And I just cut strips of paper and taped it onto the Baby Bell cheese and then put a star on top so it kind of looks like the Toy Story famous ball. Now, I added ketchup in my container. You could also have ranch in your container for your little cucumbers. And that is all for my Toy Story one. Now the last one is my Monsters, Inc. lunch ideas and also works for St. Patrick's Day. So I took a, just a peanut butter and jam sandwich. I put some little cheese on it so it looks like a door. These are yellow peppers, also known as like little monsters coming out of the door. Cucumbers, I did two cucumbers on top of each other with a scary eyeball sprinkle on top. Now these are just little cookies I found at the store. I used the edible markers to draw some scary eyes on it. I also put my 10 year old to work and had her design a little face for this green apple. I had toothpicks for the horns and the rest she just colored, made out of paper and stuck it on with more toothpicks. Now for the drink, to get those little designs, I actually just used a green cupcake wrapper and taped it on, then made an eyeball out of paper. Just to make it scary enough to be a part of my Monsters, Inc. lunch. I hope that you loved my Disney lunch ideas. I think this is my favorite video to make because my kids had a blast helping me make them. So let's get to the giveaway. Now if I could win the giveaway, I'd obviously go, hmm, that's not hard, to Disney. But you have a few theme parks that you can pick from. Thanks to Getaway Today, they are providing this amazing prize for two adults and two children on a three night vacation to Southern California. Now, if you win, you can pick up to two theme parks and where you want to go. So you have the choices of Disneyland, Universal Studios, SeaWorld, Knott's Berry Farm, Legoland, and there's a few more in there. So now let's get to the entry part. This is the easiest part. All you have to do is click the link below and it will take you to the giveaway page. All right, guys, good luck. I hope you win the vacation and I'll talk to you soon. See ya.